morning. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Why are you hiding? Everybody loves seeing your beautiful face. You handsome. Oh, you hunk. Oh, look at you. Look at your handsome face. Look at it. Look at it. I always put moisturizer on my face. That's why it's handsome. You always put moisturizer on your face. That's why it's handsome. I just did. Oh, you need a little chapstick though, just a little bit, cause what's it's a, cold. What's it? What? A what? A chapstick for your lips. Nope. No, <laughs> you're gonna lick them instead. <laughs> so we are waiting for the bus. For the bus. Yeah, our no more routine. Every day, Mr. C J is going on the bus. It's mostly, it's mostly here. It's mostly here before us. Hey, the sun hits your light when that, when you when you move. The sun really? is coming out. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh 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 oh. oh. oh it should be here any minute. It should be here any minute. And then I am headed off to work. And today we're gonna have like a holiday. There was a holiday, a campus wide holiday party yesterday that um, I you didn't go to. I don't. To. It's for employees. But, you still never took me. but it's for employees. You don't work where I work. I wish I did. Silly goose. Um. I did not go because I was busy and I just didn't, I, I wasn't scheduled to work so I didn't feel like going in and it's not that big of a deal. Um, but it's our, it's, our, yes? It's my mom's choice. Yes, it is my choice. That's right. I got you choices. Make a book, you should make a book called My Mom's Choices. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. And today we have um, a division though, a department. Um, holiday thing it's not as gonna it's not gonna be as big as the the birthday the birthday God, what am i talking about the holiday it's um a potluck can i finish my sentence okay. <laughs> yeah, you're confusing me um it's gonna be more no it's actually not gonna be a potluck our vice president is so i work for the vp at my campus and one of them because there's three and he's providing um food for his division and I work for the office, so he's providing it for us, but I also have to kind of work the event. But it's going to be very laid back. Literally, we're just going to put tables. We're going to lay out the food. People are going to come. It's going to be very buffet style, and we're just going to have a good time for like an hour, hour and a half. Just as a thank you um, for everyone and things like that. So it should be fun because I do like my division. Uh, the whole campus, that's, you know, no comment. Hey, 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 hey. So I'm going to wash my face. Um, because I'm gonna prep to go to the gym and I just took off all my makeup and I mean I've read and seen things like it's good to wear your makeup to the gym uh, or I mean it's not good but it's fine and like nothing and then then I've heard you know all the other stuff where you know when you sweat the heat opens up your pores and if you're wearing makeup all of that gunk is gonna go in and I kind of do believe that a little bit more than anything. So, um, I, I have a very oily skin. Oh, I got a dandruff there too. A little dry skin. Um, and uh, yeah, it's like very prone to like, have one of these going on and stuff and it's just not cute so I told myself you know what I had a full face on today as you notice and I skipped going to the gym yesterday and I said that I was gonna go today and I was feeling lazy because I had to take off my makeup and get undressed and like I want to get undressed to like put, put my pajamas and go to bed but I gotta stick to it. I gotta stick to this. I feel a lot more determined than before. It's so awkward talking to you <laughs> with my eyes closed. I also wanted to share with you that, oh God, it feels so good to wash your face. As much as I love wearing makeup, like, it's funny because nothing feels better than um, washing your face. Um, I wanted to join this program that I saw on Facebook. It was an ad, a Facebook ad, that a local 
well, yeah, that's pretty local. I mean, it's far in the sense because, you know, traffic here in the area. But, you know, it was it was going to be worth it. It was going to be a free six-week uh, boot, boot camp challenge. And, um... I signed up for it. I think they had like either 20 or 30 or I can't recall what number exactly they um, were offering, like how many spots they were offering. But ultimately, I started signing up and filled all my information in and then the next page was something along the lines of like filling out a bunch of questions and there were stuff like, why do you want to lose weight? Why do you think this program is going to help you? What are your goals? And they were more like paragraph type answers or at least a few sentences. And I was on my phone and was like, oh, I'll just do it when I get home or whatever. And I just never did it. And then I thought I missed the deadline. Like I just never, I forgot about it. Then I get an email at the beginning of the week um, that I needed to show up for orientation. And I missed the first orientation because I wasn't sure if I was going to do it. And then I called for this one and they don't allow kids and the morning spots uh, were the only ones available and I'm gonna take a class during winter so I kind of messed up like I should have gone to the orientation on Tuesday um but I mean ultimately I think that the challenge was gonna be you know oh, wow I put a lot of moisture moisturizer on I am so distracted talking to you um the challenge was um, probably, you know, A, it was going to be a community of people because, you know, they had X amount of open spots. And um, the only thing that they asked for was that they shared your story. So, you know, um, I feel comfortable with that for obvious reasons. And so I, I felt fine, like, them taking pictures and, and um, you know, posting it on their social media and things like that. I was like, okay, well, I'm okay with that. Um... So the, the real benefit was really going to be about uh, having that trainer. And um, I know it's going to be good, but there's nothing I can do about it now because I missed it. Like, I can't go to the ones that they're offering. And even if I could go in the evening, like, I don't, they don't have babysitting option. And I just, I just, with Cyrus, it just gets too chaotic. So I'm just going to stick to my routine. I did get a trainer when I first got my membership at the gym before I started Revlogging, so I learned a lot with his sessions. I did six sessions with him. Um, actually, I paid for five, but he gave me an extra one because, um, I guess he really liked my story, is what he said. And um, I learned a lot. He's I was very informative, and I'm just gonna take that for now. And when I, you know, I'm gonna start seeing results. And then, you know, maybe I'll save up a little bit again and then pay for another five sessions once I feel like I can't or I need to learn more uh, once I want to push myself more. Because right now he taught me the very basics for my body type at the moment. So I do push myself, but, you know, at the same time, I don't want to hurt myself. I, I'm realistically, I'm a lot bigger to do a lot of the exercises um, that require you to be thinner or, or, or at least not even thinner, um, to have the endurance. So right now I'm going to build my endurance and I'm also building those habits, right? Those habits, um, of working out and things like that. I'm kind of at that stage. So once I have those kind of set in stone and I'm like, okay, this is part of my life now. Um, then I'll probably, like I said, get, you know, another trainer and be like, you know what? Okay. I'm ready to take it to the next level. Um, and I think that that boot camp probably could have helped with that, but I did learn a lot and I do feel like I can do it on my own. So I'm kind of on my own boot camp, nonetheless. I mean, a little bummed out, but you know what? <sighs> I have to learn to do this on my own too. And I have to push myself, um, and find that motivation to go to the gym. So um, and eat right and like I have to do that it gets to a point where people can't hold my hand anymore and I just have to do it on my own for myself and that's kind of where I'm at right now so that's my update on that I wanted to share that with you because I wasn't sure if I had mentioned it but I'm gonna head to the gym just gonna finish putting on my gym clothes and then I will see you in a bit guess what my mother look I found a quarter Found a quarter and just farted. What? 
See? <laughs> I mean, she farted five minutes ago. What do you want me to do? I have. I want you to fall in the in the room. It's natural bodily fluid. I don't even know what that even means. Mm. I never knew what that even meant. Mm -hmm. But I but I've heard you say it. I've heard you say it. Yeah. I've heard her say it. Mm -hmm. So where are we going again? Oh yeah, the gym, right? Yes. So we are going to the gym. My mom's getting ready. My mom's gonna drop me off at the kids' club. And the first thing I need to do before, turn off my light. And then my mom's ready to leave. And it's almost eight, so we have to leave eight. At eight. Huh? We have to leave at eight. It's seven. Where did I tell you about the freaking camera? Seven fifty-one. Correct. So I think five, one, no, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The minutes, eight more minutes until eight o'clock. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're gonna get a head start. Cause we're gonna head start. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. But we'd make it by eight o'clock either way. Wait, I need to turn off the light. Wait, do I turn off this, the lights? Yeah, we're gonna go to the gym. Bye. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to follow me on all my social media at I am Lolo, and don't forget to subscribe.